Champ. Good luck in your fly ball tournament, Big A. Kick some thorax. You know it, little bro. Whoa! Awesome. Now, Maggie, here's our phone number. We'll be back tomorrow, so take care of the house, keep an eye on Pubert, and please be responsible. You can count on me, Mom. In fact, I'm so responsible that I've invited Rena to spend the night to help me make doubly sure that everything is under control. So, have fun. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Oh, nice try, dear. But having a slumber party while we're gone is not a good idea. Right, Orama. It's not a good idea. It's a great idea. Instead of one set of eyes on Puper, we'll have two. He'll never be out of our sight for one single second. Oh, what if I have to go to the bathroom? They'll be back tomorrow. Sweetheart, your mother and I don't think you're mature enough to have a sleepover when we're not home. I can totally handle it. What could possibly go wrong? Maggie? Maggie, wake up. Sweetheart, where's our house? Just keep an eye on your brother and try not to lose the house. Hello? Hey, Raina, totally bummerish news. We can't have a sleepover tonight. My parents think it's not a good idea. Oh, but wait, it's not a good idea doesn't necessarily mean no. Wait, and they think I'm not mature enough. But the only way to prove I'm mature enough to have a sleepover when they're not home is to actually have a sleepover when they're not home. But uh, oh, you are so right. I'll show them they're wrong. Grab your sleeping bag and get over here right now. We're having ourselves a slumber party. <laughs> Thanks, Reina. You're such a genius. I am good. I thought Mom and Dad said you couldn't have Reina over. Pupi, I have a fantastic plan, and you're an important part of it. I'm going to have a sleepover with Reina, and you get to be... The Tattletail? And that's how Maggie totally disobeyed you. Maggie Pesky, you're grounded for life! Good job, son! Not the tattletale. You get to be the documentarian. You see, Rena and I are going to have a quiet, responsible sleepover, and you, the documentarian, are going to take pictures of the whole thing. Then I'll have proof that I'm mature, and I'll be allowed to do a lot more cool stuff in the future! I'd rather tattle. Think big picture, Pup. If I get away with this, just think what you'll be able to get away with when you get older. <laughs> I'm in! Here we go! My responsible sleepover begins! Take a picture of Rain arriving! <laughs> Surprise! Moths? How could you not tell me you were bringing them? Fly friend, you never gave me a chance with your blah blah. I want to sleep over yakety yak. I'm not mature enough. Wham, wham, wham. Okay, I get it. Anyway, my dad's old army buddy's in town and I've been stuck entertaining these girls all day long. I'm not so sure about this. Oh, they're not going to cause any trouble. Look at them. <laughs> they're the most boring kids I've ever met. I guess you're right. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get this slumber party started. I love you. 
you, John. I love everything about you. Your beauty. Your soul. <laughs> your flavor. This Black Widow movie is not as romantic as I thought. Pupi, get a shot of us responsibly enjoying a movie together. I'm on it. Way fun, yet totally safe pillow fight. Ooh, ow. Check that <laughs> I'm going for a whole Picasso meets goth thing. Cool, I'm doing yours with a space alien beach day. Pass the clear. <sighs> the documentarian is hungry. He will be here any minute. And make sure you get a picture of me leaving the pizza fly a handsome gratuity. A tip from one responsible bug to another. It's getting dark. Could you hit the light? Oh, no problemo. Pretty light, pretty light, pretty light. We love the night! We love the night! What's with you guys? We're nocturnal, baby. Nocturnal box rule! You're nocturnal? But this is a slumber party. Slumber party, birthday party, search party. Doesn't matter to us. Party is what we do best! Two large pizzas with extra mold. Hey, they ate my pizza! Oh, oh, they ate my bread twist! They ate my dignity. Man, I should have never quit law school. Uh, guys, that pizza was for everyone. Hit the tunes, Mandy! Let's kick this baby up a notch! <laughs> Let's not waste film. Uh, don't worry, I've got plenty. Rena, you brought these mugs. Do something! Uh, uh, girls? Y'all, hey, hey, what do you say we, uh, what? Yeah! I'm really getting the hang of this. Oh, yeah, give it to me. Yeah, show Daddy the love, baby. Work it, work it. Yeah, that's the stuff. Okay, that's it. This is way out of hand. Get a picture of this, people. This is me being ultra responsible. Ah! Hey, stop! Who's the cow joy? All right, everyone. This is my party. Then, can you make a soda run? No! This party is officially over. So, thanks for coming. Now get out! It's been fun. Great to meet you. Fly home safe. Home? <laughs> We're not going home. This party's just getting started, baby! What the? Beat it! My parents were right. I wasn't ready to have a sleepover when they weren't home. Maybe they won't ground you for, like, eternity. But they can't ground me for something I didn't do. Plan B. Clean up, destroy all evidence, and act like it never happened. Well, you better act quick, because here come your parents. <laughs> Out the back door! I'll call you! <gasps> Ew. 
Please, Mom and Dad will love it. Pubert, you can't show those pictures to anyone. But I'm the documentarian, and I did a really good job. It'll just have to be our little secret. But I worked really hard. I'll clean your room. For a year? I'll do your homework. Candy, I'll give you lots and lots of candy forever. Sweethearts, did you have a nice time? Nice and boring, right, Pubert? Yeah, it was okay. All right, everyone, let's unpack. I'll try to find somewhere to put this trophy. Ugh. I've just got to stop winning. <gasps> Woo! That was close. Oh, look, honey, they took pictures. I love pictures. No, wait. <laughs> I didn't say anything. It is pandemonium here at Sticky Feet International Airport. Wow, I made it! Anticipation has been building for this moment since Sticky Feet was chosen to host the finals. They're coming! And here they come in their hypercracks to defend their title. Them, it's really them! Winners of six straight international championships, the incredible, the outrageous Spelling Bees! Floyd, Nigel, Quentin, and Stingo! Uh, we love you, Sticky Feet. <laughs> we love you, too! <laughs> Arthropod. A-R-T-H-R-O-P-O-D. Arthropod. Yeah, girl! Way to bring it home, fly friend. But if you really want to be a spelling bee, you're gonna have to work on that accent. Please, girl. I like my spellers to keep it real. Oh, come on, Reina. Don't you ever fantasize about being somebody really famous? Hey, this is supposed to be my fantasy. Oh, sorry. Hey, you guys. Did you hear what happened to the bees? No. What? Stingo lost his voice. If he doesn't get it back before the championship, the praying mantises win by forfeit. It's a nightmare. Laryngitis? Ah, oh, that's too bad. Laryngitis. L-A-R-Y-N. How can you spell at a time like this? <gasps> hey, Rena. I've got an I-D-E-A. like your plan. My plan's perfect. The bees need a great speller. I am a great speller. Think of it. Me, up on the stage, in the spotlight, spelling with the bees. So I'm just here for decoration. Pretty much. Let's go. So, how's that vaporizer working, Stingo? You any better, mate? Guys, <laughs> That's just brilliant. Lads, we're sunk. Don't give up yet, Chops. There's a new bee in town. Here, who are you? Name's Maggie, and I'm going to win you championship number seven. Faster than you can say Bob's your uncle. Hello, I'm Raina. She's my groupie. I'm her agent. She's my I'm agent. I'm her groupie. She's my groupie agent. Agents follow me everywhere. We know all the top bees, and we ain't never heard of no Maggie. What's your last name? It's a Frankenster Benstein Ben. Well, listen here, Maggie Frank, it's Sturbin Stiben. We still never heard of you, so get lost. <laughs> Stingo's right, Lloyd. We ought to at least give her a test. Right. Here's one with training wheels on. Dyspepsia. D-Y-S-P-E-P-S-I-A. Flagellum. F-L-A-G-E-L-L-U-M. Pterodactyl. P-T-E-R-O-D-A-C-T-Y-L. Wowie wow. Baby. So I'm in? Uh, 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 not so fast. You think that's all there is to be in a spelling bee? Ha! Ha ha! We spelling bees do what we want when we want. Other bugs either give us the goods or get out of the way. But well, they don't sound very nice. Oh, we're far too famous to worry about nice, love. <laughs> right, yo. Jolly good. <laughs> Hey, lads, 
lads. What say we stop in here for a little fun? All right. Yeah, right on. Come on, you girls come too. Oh, 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 you're spelling me. Oh, you're spelling me. Oh, 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 oh. Can I have your autograph? Right, sport. Oh, 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 oh. I'll never wash my face again. Ah, oh my. The spelling bee's in my little flower shop. Oh, what an honor. Yes, it is. We'll take some pollen. Oh, well, uh, uh, the pollen isn't normally sold separately. We're the spelling bees. We don't pay for pollen. Me, um, right home. Chip, chip, chops. Don't do it, Maggie. These guys are jerks. Yeah, they are kind of, huh? You have to say something to them. You're right. Next chance I get. Hey! <laughs> and here's to our newest spelling bee, Maggie. And her hanger on, whose name I ignored. Cheers! I'm in the group. I did it. I need it! I mean, there's something I have to... What's all this rubbish, then? We ordered fresh nectar! I'm sorry, sir, we don't carry nectar. I thought you'd enjoy a rotten lemonade instead. Oh, you did. You want to know what we think of your grotty lemonade? We do have a suggestion box over there. <laughs> Man. I should have never quit my job at the pizza place. Well, that is it! I have had it with the way you jerks treat other bugs. What's the big deal? He's just some nobody fly. Oh, well, would it surprise you to know that I am just some nobody fly myself? <laughs> Isn't there something you'd like to say, Maggie? Fly? I've... I've been hoodwinked! Hoodwinked, I say! How dare you! You won't ought to be ashamed. Especially you, Maggie. Looks like I'll need a new groupie agent. And welcome to the International Spelling Finals! Say hello to the team in green, the praying mantises! And the chance for me! Kahunas, the swingers with stingers in the yellow and black, the spelling bees! Right, I'd just like to say that we couldn't have done this without you, all our fans! You flies are the best! Give yourselves a pat on the thorax! We love you, sticky feet! Flies always eat that garbage up. And now, are you ready to watch other bugs spell? Lots of words properly! <laughs> Egocentric. E G O C E N T R I C. That is correct. And Eve, E N D I V E. Please, 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 please. That is correct. <laughs> Zoology, C O O L O G Y. And two more points for the newest bee, Maggie Frankenstein Stadden. <laughs> Grotesque. Hmm. Can I ask a friend? <gasps> um, no, I'm afraid that's not permitted. Not even my friend, the robot. G-R-O-T-E-S-Q-U-E Okay, Max, this is it. You spell this one right, we go into overtime. We rock the world and wango bango! Championship number seven. Need a relaxing laugh? Check out some of the twits in the stands. But those are our fans. Yeah, ain't they a riot? <laughs> Look at section G row six! <laughs> Hey, ain't that your old mate who pretended to be a bee? 
Oh, and look who she's with there, Mr. and Mrs. Pathetic with the two kids, Lane Boy 1 and, oh, look, it's Lane Boy 2. <laughs> Ooh, Mags, you're up. Hammobies keep their title hopes alive. It all rests on Maggie Franken's turban slide and her spelling of the word, imposter. Imposter? Uh... <laughs> Definition, please. Imposter, I think. A phony, a trickster, if you will. A lying, wasted exoskeleton who would beat Ray and sell out her own kind. Okay, okay. I get it. <sighs> imposter. I am imposter. I am... I am an imposter. Me, Maggie, M-A-G-G-I-E, M-A-G-G-I-E, M-A-G-G-I-E. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's not even close. I'm not a bee. I'm a fly. She's a fly. <laughs> we lose because it's some stinking fly. It figures. You flies have been a bunch of buggy, rotten pests ever since we landed in this rancid little stink town. <laughs> oh, I mean, we love your sticky feet. <laughs> How did you know I was here? I told them everything. I knew you'd come around. What really matters, Maggie dear, is that you did the right thing. Eventually. I am so monstrously sorry. M-O-N-S seriously with the spelling. That's it! I'm washing my face! Up next... He thinks you smell good. Get ready to cha-cha-cha with Bear in the Big Blue House, right here inside Playhouse Disney.